going on? This is King Solomon, and we on cross the street. Stay tuned. Come to these times and I'm ghost. Stuck in my mind and I'm lost. Finding a way to move on. And that's getting these memories gone. Solomon, how are you, sir? What's going on, Jimbo? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. What's going on? It's King Solomon. We in Portland, Oregon. Across, Doing it. About across the street. We we'll walk through the woods. It's all woodsy out here. We got a nice little trail. We're gonna go on a little woods, uh, woods walk. Let's see what it is. So let's catch everybody up, man. Uh, kind of new to the music scene out here, or you've been around a while, or what's your story? You know, I've just pretty much been making music for a while, doing my own thing, and I live in Vancouver, so. We just kind of haven't been putting too much out recently, but gave him a taste. I dropped a single. My new single, Ghost, is out now. And that's mainly been it. We got a lot in store, though, a lot we're working on. I got a chance to watch the Ghost video. Pretty dope. Nice. nice I appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah. Is music something that you kind of just fell into, or is this something that you're truly passionate about? Or You know, I've always been an artist. I used to start with poetry, and then mainly I've been focused on, on music it's kind of what I use as a form of self-expression and it's really therapeutic to me so that's just what I've been rolling with my man's much. brought his own smoke with him today <laughs> he brought his own smoke if you watch the show enough I do bring everybody a gift oh, I brought appreciate you a nice, it, little, nice little jar of some dro there you and can much love I appreciate roll, uh, that yeah yeah no problem good yeah. looking out yeah thanks for showing up yeah so uh, are you good at anything else? I always like this question. I know everybody's so talented. You, you know, you, you, you rap, you promote yourself. Are you good at anything else? I mean, I'm learning how to produce. A lot of other artists I've been working with, underground artists, helping them getting their name out there. Some people I consider local legends, just trying to help build their platform. So engineering is one thing and producing. And then a little bit of writing on the side. A lot of people sometimes will want me to help them in the studio with construction of their songs. So Dope. that's something else I like to partake. And I don't know, I, I paint a little bit. And any way you can kind of get that self-expression, I think it's a beautiful thing. You got, you're good at painting and drawing, you said? <laughs> I'm a little abstract, but, <laughs> there you go, yeah. <laughs> but I, I think it's, it comes out all right. I got a few pieces up in my crib. How did you get the name King Solomon? You know, my mom named me uh, Solomon, and it was never really tied to anything biblical, but a lot of people reference that in the Bible, so I just thought it was kind of like a, an honor to have that name, so I just kind of started rolling with it. It's what everyone's been calling me. It's what I go by. But a lot of people have been telling me that X's are hard to, hard to like find my name when you're searching me up, so I might have to do something about that, change something to... I will remind everyone to fully think out the name that you're going to use before yeah. you start using it, because the worst thing that can happen is just that. It's too mixed up, <laughs> yeah. too confusing. I just want to keep it simple, so that's, what I've been, that's me. That's who I roll with. Any big travel plans? You going to do any moving around now that the world's slowly kind of moving back open again, I guess? Yeah, we got a trip planned for Thailand this year. Going to Thailand? Yeah, we're gonna go to uh, back to LA, work with Hefe out there. Shout out him, one of the best producers I've met lately. Um, you're really going in then on this, right? I mean, you're like making yeah. a push here, it sounds like. Yeah, I just went up there with, uh, shout out Tyson Trail, he invited me, I saw he's on the show, so I'll, yeah. I wanna show him some love. Are Thank you in the you. challenge yet? You in the Tyson Trail challenge? My submission's coming, I know, I've been slacking shit, but yeah. it, you'll see it. Tight. Where would you record that at? You do that one yourself? Yeah, I have an in-home studio. Oh, great, yeah, yeah. So that's where I get a lot of my mixes in. I work a lot in Vancouver with a few uh, producers. Where you at? In, are you in, like, Rosemeyer, Rosemeyer area out there? Yeah, I'm off St. John's in Vancouver, Washington, so... You, you know who Wise Guy me. is? Wise Guy, never heard of him. Wise Guy 360, you should probably check him out. Never met him. He's actually got a little Damn. plaque there in Vancouver City Hall. Really? Yeah. It's my boy, Wise Guy. Shout out to Wise Guy. Yeah. yeah, shout out him. Yeah. I appreciate everyone that's just, like, putting on for this city. and. He's a Vancouver legend out there. That's really? <laughs> yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's sick, yeah. man. 
Who else have you worked with around town? I know you did. He said you got a little working with Tyson. It sounds like anybody else have you grinded gears with? Uh, shout out Third Eye Goonies. I've done a lot of work with them. They helped me. So Tavo and them. Up and coming as an artist, just developing my own wave. So um, a lot of underground artists. Shout out Rebel from the Coof. He's pretty raw. Let's see. I mean, a little babbling brook. Check that out. Hey. I haven't worked with too many Portland artists yet, but it'll get around. I mean, there's a lot of talent in the city, man. It's like you don't even have to look for it anymore, <laughs> I feel like. You just turn around and someone's dope. You're I think like, it's a wow. beautiful thing. It's all like, you know, 360. It's like, that's where I'm from. So it's like a 360. It goes around. Everyone's got their own thing. But we all support each other. I think that's just sick. Very true. Very true. What are you making your beats on? You're just trying to learn that right now, you said? Yeah, so I work with my boy Kenny. We make everything from scratch. Uh -huh. We're trying to come with our own sound, so. Shout out him, another underground artist, but our beats are pretty authentic as far as, you know, coming up with ideas and figuring out how we're trying to go. You know, we really want to create a sound that makes people feel a certain way, whether it be, you know, upset, about their day, they're gonna turn that shit on and they're gonna feel better or, you know, right. they've been just going through it. It's something to vent to, you know? So you, that's what we're going with. Do you have a style that you kind of like, I don't know, I won't say, uh, influenced you, I guess? Like artists that influenced you to kind of yeah. bring you to who you are today? I mean, there's a lot of legends. I can't really name anyone specific. I fuck with Swiggle a lot. I just like his work ethic, you know? So there's certain things I like in artists that they're doing, but I would just say, I listen to a lot of like reggae and I listen to a lot of like rap growing up. So I have a lot of rap roots, but I wouldn't consider myself very much too hip hop. I'm just more alternative. It's more of a alternative <laughs> sound. Yeah. No, that's dope. Yeah, Swig, Swig does work hard. He works super hard. And that consistency and working hard oftentimes is, you know, that's what you get known for. <laughs> I admire the work ethic, for real. Yeah, you've been doing it a long time, too. Long time, I think. You got any pets? You know, not quite, but on the way, might be a cat in the future or something. My girls want one. Look at those. He's got the official, those are the official dad sneakers right there. <laughs> the, the white New Balance. Yeah, rocking it down the trail. <laughs> cool. So what are you going to do the rest of the day? You got any big plans today? And I'll be recording every day, so I'm just going to hit the studio. Even if I don't get too much in, it's still a vibe to go and just hear my songs and shit. Probably just get some work in. I'm trying to work on this project. Yeah, what's up on the project? So there's like a whole, a whole ass EP about to drop or something? Yeah, you know, Ghost was a sample, and uh -huh. that's just something to give people a little bit of taste, but I'm gonna start dropping more and more singles, and then eventually the project will come. But now, I just wanna give people a taste, show them what's really got, we've been working on. Right, right. Um, yeah, we got a lot of tracks, though. Any new home. visuals lined up, too, for the new stuff? Yeah, I like to have a visual to every song I drop now, so we got one we're filming Saturday. I ain't gonna say what song yet, but it's Ooh. gonna be pretty dope. I'm trying to work with this other cat in LA, but we just getting that in the works, man. Pretty much. We got a lot going on. I'm just trying to make it more of a visual. I think that complements the song as well. So putting that out, I think that'll be dope. I think music videos nowadays is kind of the business card of, of, of rap, I guess. Uh, you know, without one, it's tough. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? Like, Eventually, we're going to start making movies, man. I want these songs to tell a story and shit. Ooh, there you go. I want them to all connect with the videos as well. All right. You better find yourself a nice video guy. Yeah. I've been working with a few. Shout out Bossic Films. He did Shout Ghost for me. Pack. Packard. Yeah. Local legend. We got DeAndre Collins out here. Black Lagoon Films. Yeah. Um, I've been talking with DeAndre. We're going to get something in the works here soon. Uh, there's a bunch of kids out here. Zach Olson. He does amazing work, too. He just did the Roulette Delgado work. Super talented. Trevor Ellis from uh, the Fisherman Films. Really? 
Another good one. Um, Carver. Man. Carver. Carver like Mitch. His name. Yeah. Carver Mitch. Love Carver. Shout out to Carver. Yeah. He's a friend of mine. I like that guy. Any hopes, dreams, aspirations to make it big? You really want to make it big doing this, yeah? I mean, make it big, that's a that's a big question, you know. I just kind of want to impact people in a way, even if it's only like a few people, at least when they hear my song, it can impact their life, inspire them to do their thing, you know. So yeah, I kind of want to leave a legacy in a sense. You know, a lot of these people were the pioneers of the Pacific Northwest, so it's an up and coming thing. You just doing these interviews, it helps a lot documenting this experience, man, so. There's so yeah. many talented people here, it's just cool to give everybody an opportunity to kind of let people know about it, you know? I think that's yeah. the problem that most artists struggle with, I think, is that we all have talents, and it's hard to let everybody see it, though. It's mixed up with so many other people and stuff, right. and, you know. And it's hard because, you know, a lot of people, pride gets in the way, ego, so can't have that crabs in the bucket effect, people bringing each other down. We just kind of got to lift each other up, work with each other. Crabs think, in the bucket, I like yeah. that one. That's a classic. That's a classic. Yeah. <laughs> you got brothers or sisters or anything? I'm only child. Only child? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm man. only had me as I know of. You good in the kitchen? Am I good in the kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> any good? Man. I don't know any oldie children. All the oldie children I know generally aren't very good in the kitchen. That's why I ask. Like cooking? Cooking, yeah. Cooking? Nah, I mean, I'll make some, <laughs> I'll make some chicken for you, but there you go. can't do too much. <laughs> for the dishes in the studio, though, we're cooking up <laughs> All daily, kinds of good stuff, yeah. We're cooking up every day. <laughs> Heat, bro. We got that shit coming. That's funny. <laughs> Man, I'm kind of stoked how nice it is. We're getting kind of lucky today. If you're not from the Northwest... Um, it's pretty pretty cold the last few days, it seems like. Bro, we had something scheduled, but... We got rained out our first one. It was one. rained out, yeah. had a storm and shit, I was pouring. It was like sideways rain that morning, too. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Storm was coming in. Pacific Northwest. How about... I love that shit, though. Rain, Pacific man. Northwest. Our trees look all cool. Look at weird-ass trees. This is kind of an interesting hip-hop interview, huh? Walking around in the woods. Yeah, it's a vibe. <laughs> get out in nature too much. Where'd you get that shirt out? Let's check that out. Yeah, oh, shout Nipsey. out Nipsey Hustle. Hey. I got this off the streets in LA from a vendor. That's dope. Oh, in, in Los Angeles? Yeah. Oh, dope. Yeah. By the uh, Nipsey Memorial. So Did you I go down today, and check that out? You want to check that out? The yeah. Nipsey had to show love to them because he really was an inspiration of mine. It's a good, that's a good one. I forgot. I was trying to think, still think about it, because <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a hard question well, for me, Nipsey but was one he was one of my biggest up, inspirations. He should come up from your guys' generation, for sure. Yeah. Um, he was I, definitely a pioneer. I even had my heart broken the other day when I heard that they got young Dolph. They got Dolph. Broke IP me up, man. Dolph. That shit broke me up, man. And he was a, he was a grinder. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it sucks uh, when people start hating on you from your own city, because, like, He's really trying to support, and he was doing a lot for his community Didn't as well. Didn't they say he was so. just getting, like, cookies for his mother or something? For, for real. At for the local her. business, you know? At a local business, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Let's take a job down there. Yeah, what, are you, what kind of weed are you smoking? This is some uh, Platinum Kush breath. I like that gas, you know? Okay. But I'm usually smoking some mints or some cookies. I like that GMO stuff. Yeah? Yeah. The garlic mushroom onion. <coughs> that's pretty That's pretty gassy too. Yeah, that's I like that shit that you feel in your chest, that gasoline. You seen the new Timi Hendrix video? Runts, roll the runts up. That shit was fly, shout out Timmy. <laughs> I love that shit, yeah. Man, I'm trying to work with him soon. Timmy's dope one, how about, um, you know, DJ Berg? I don't. Yeah. Shout out right. DJ Arcadia, though. She just uh, mm -hmm. helped me with my show on the 30th of October. It was my release party. We had a lot of dope artists. I don't know if you know Bishop Brown. We got Nobody47, Santavo, and then a couple others didn't make it, a couple other local That was during artists. October, right? That's, yeah. Yeah, I saw the flyer. The end of October. Yeah. yeah. Right before Halloween. So you dropped your dope. video that day, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. 
Though, so any other shows lined up? You got any other public appearances that we can catch you at? Yeah, so December 16th, we got the slime release in Vancouver. Okay. So everyone from Portland's got to drive out. We're turning up for that. Got a show. Tickets right now on pre-sale. We also got a show New Year's Eve. We got the flyer coming out soon, so okay. stay tuned. And that's also in Vancouver at TBM Records. I'll have to give it up to a wise guy. Uh, I'll show that flyer, bing, right here. Um, he has a birthday party bash coming up out there in Vancouver too at Three Monkeys. Um, I've heard of that place. Yeah, so that should be dope. Yeah, you should probably slide through to that. I think. <coughs> send me a flyer. Yeah, I'll send you a flyer. That'd be a good down. one for you to get down there and run into some of those Vancouver I'm trying to pull up to all the Vancouver shows, man. We're really oh, okay. putting on for that city. Yeah. You know, they're doing a lot out there, building a lot, but we just really want to bring up the people. Right. So. Is there a, a little, do you have a little things. click out there in Vancouver then that you work, you know, pretty close with? Yeah, I got a team, and then I just got a lot of people that, you know, we been working I've worked with a few uh, I performed with a few people from Portland shout out Izzy Dead local Sounds legend um, but yeah Santavo me and him have been working a lot got a lot of hits in the vault uh, speaking of Izzy I filmed his music video for him and we filmed part of it here, <laughs> right here I yeah. forgot that you did that that's so yeah. fire <laughs> yeah we did it right here keep it pushing I think. yeah yeah keep it pushing yeah that shit's sick, man. Well, we zipped through about 17 minutes, 18 minutes there pretty quick. Um, yeah. You want to give us some shout-outs or some love or some PSA on the way out of here before we before we wrap this yeah, up? Yeah, shout-out the cool, shout-out Pacific Northwest, shout-out Portland, shout-out Across the Street. Ghost video out now. Stay tuned. A whole lot more. A lot more videos and projects on the way. But we gone for now. Stay up. Hey. If there's anything I can do for you in the future, man, you just let me know. Uh, other than that, Let's get out of here and go enjoy the rest of this freaking day. This is wonderful. Let's do it. He got some weed on a walk in the sun. This is like Appreciate a great, this you, is like man. some Northwest shit right here. <laughs> I'll get back. I'll have something for you next show. Oh, it works. Good luck. Yeah. All right, King. Let's do it. Let's get Cheers, out of here, friend. Man.